Welcome to this week's crack a -pack. I have for you today another Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Draft Booster, which I will be cracking open, reading every single card, and then making a pack one, pick one, as if I were in a draft. I'm going to include timestamps below. If you would like to skip forward to see the entire pack contents in my pack one, pick one. But otherwise, let's get cozy and appreciate every single card in this pack. Virus Beetle, one black, artifact creature, insect, common, one one. When Virus Beetle enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. They'll be debugging their code for days before they figure out what happened. Ita, Futurist Agent. Yeah, not a bad card. Um, it's an insect. It is a good effect to have, especially um, if you play it early on and your opponent has mulliganed already. It's definitely some early advantage in the game. Voltage Surge. Red. Instant. Common. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice an artifact. Voltage Surge deals 2 damage to target creature or planeswalker. If this spell's additional cost was paid, Voltage Surge deals 4 damage instead. Bears well with our Virus Beetle. Uncharted Haven, land, common. Uncharted Haven enters the battlefield tapped. As Uncharted Haven enters the battlefield, choose a color. Tap, add one mana of the chosen color. Untouched by mortal or kami, unspoiled by their wars. Bearer of Memory. Two, green, enchantment creature, human monk, common, three, two. Five, green, put a plus one, plus one counter on target enchantment creature. It gains trample until end of turn. Members of the living historians don't simply chronicle the past, they embody it. Could be a mana sink late in the game, but it's still kind of an expensive cost for that ability. Tamiyo's Completion. Three, blue. Enchantment, aura, common. Flash, enchant artifact, creature, or planeswalker. When Tamiyo's Completion enters the battlefield, Tap Enchanted Permanent. If it's an equipment, unattach it. Enchanted Permanent loses all abilities and doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Yeah, I think that's a great card. Grafted Growth. Two, green. Enchantment Aura. Common. Enchant land. When grafted growth enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature or vehicle you control. 
Enchanted land has tap had two mana of any one color. Hockey Ronin, one red. Creature, Goblin Samurai, common. Whenever a samurai or warrior you control attacks alone, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Carry the heat of the furnace in your steel and never let it fade. Kenny Kenny, Hockey Smith. Moth Rider Patrol, White, Creature, Fox Warrior, Common, 1-1, one, one. Flying, 3 and a White, Tap, Tap Target Creature, Be proud, young pup, you've earned your wings, Rise and become the Western Wind, Swift Arm, Golden Tail Headmaster, I'm not sure how I feel about this card. I know I've tried it out a little bit. It just doesn't... By itself, it just as a 1-1 with flying isn't very good, but later on being able to tap down a creature is okay. Fang of Shigeki, green, enchantment creature, snake ninja, common, 1-1, one, one. death touch. Let me give you a taste of the poison you've poured into our land, Shigeki, founder of the Order of Jukai. Befriending the moths, three in a white. Enchantment saga, common. Chapters one and two. Target creature you control gets plus one plus one and gains flying until end of turn. Chapter three. Exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield, transformed under your control. Imperial Moth Enchantment Creature Insect 2-4 Flying The moths of Iganjo were once no different than any other great beast of Kamagawa's winds. It took years of patience and dedication to convince them to bear riders. History of the Empire I think this saga is pretty good, as long as you have creatures out, which you should by the time that you cast this enchantment. Getting that plus one plus one and flying is pretty valuable, and then the creature it leaves behind once it transforms is decent. At the very least, it can block pretty well when it's flying, and then it's an okay attacker. Historian's Wisdom, 2, Green, Enchantment, Aura, Uncommon, Enchant Artifact or Creature. When Historian's Wisdom enters the battlefield, if Enchanted Permanent is a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield, draw a card. As long as Enchanted Creature is permanent, it gets plus 2, plus 1. So, right, I think I don't value straight up auras that highly in limited, but being able to draw a card off it would be good. 
So I think if you cast it and know that you would be able to get the card draw, then maybe it would be worth playing. Born to drive, two and a white, enchantment, aura, uncommon, enchant artifact or creature. As long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it gets plus one plus one for each creature and or vehicle you control. Channel two and a white, discard born to drive, create two one one colorless pilot creature tokens with this creature cruise vehicles as though its power were too greater. Blossom Prancer 3. Green Green Creature Spirit Uncommon 4-4 four, four. Reach When Blossom Prancer enters the battlefield, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand this way, you gain 4 life. Yeah, that card is great. Essentially draws you a creature card when it enters the battlefield. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, 2 and a red. Chapter 1. Create a 2-2 red goblin shaman creature token with whenever this creature attacks, create a creature token. Chapter 2. You may discard up to 2 cards. If you do, draw that many cards. Chapter 3. Exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Reflection of Kiki Jiki Enchantment Creature Goblin Shaman 2-2 two -two. 1. Tap Create a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature you control, except it has haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Blessed by Kega, the Tide Star, Kiki Jiki would one day master the art of duplication. Blossoming Sands Land Common Blossoming Sands enters the battlefield tapped. When Blossoming Sands enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Tap, add green or white. And a treasure token. Alright, so here's our pack. I think for me, it's probably, it's probably one of these cards. I think Tamiya's completion is pretty close to removal, although they'll still have the creature or artifact or planeswalker. It won't really be doing anything, so it's certainly less of a threat. If it's modified, it'll still count towards other cards that care about modified creatures, but overall I still think it's a solid card. 
Blossom Prancer also just great. It's a 4-4, which I think in this format is quite large and draws you a card or gains you life. It kind of depends on what you need at the time. So I think getting that creature or enchantment is probably what you want to do most of the time. And then Fabled Mirror Breaker, of course. I think it's good early, and I think it's good late. You know, the goblin that it creates will continue to create value for you. If you have any dead cards in your hand, you can try and swap them out, and then... Yeah, just copy your best creature as long as it's non-legendary, especially if it has an enter to the battlefield effect that you want to keep repeating. Yeah, I think, um, for me, that's probably going to be the pick. And there we have it. So let's shuffle up the pack and lay it out as if we were passing to the next player. All right, and that will do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe. I'll be back with another Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Draft Booster crack -a pack next week. I also have some other exciting videos on the way, like some secret layer unboxings, showing you around my EDH decks and things like that, so again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.